I've taken five tomatoes of the same variety, uh, removed the seeds, and I put the seeds in this bowl. I mix them together, and now I'm going to divide them into three treatment groups, uh, paper towel, fermenting, and rinsed. Uh, the paper towel group will be spread on a paper towel, dried overnight, and then refrigerated in a glass container. The fermented group will be placed into a plastic cup covered with a coffee filter and stored at room temperature out of direct sunlight. And those will then be rinsed and spread out on a plate overnight so they can dry. And finally, the rinsed group will simply be rinsed, right, without fermenting and spread to dry overnight on a plate. Each group will be refrigerated in separate glass containers. Here I have three labeled containers, labeled, full of potting soil. I've picked out uh, 10 seeds from each treatment group. This is what they look like over here. And I'm going to plant them in more or less the same configuration in each container. <laughs> Four weeks later, we have six seedlings in the rinsed group, six in the paper towel group, but only three, and one of them's dinky, dinky little seedling, in the fermented group. So after seven weeks, this is what we have. Uh, the rinsed group still has six seedlings, the paper towel group still has six seedlings and the fermented group now has four seedlings and two of those are very tiny and dinky. So this experiment may lead us to believe that uh, rinsing and using the paper towel method are the best methods for saving tomato seeds. And the seed is a little packet of life that the plant creates to send out into the world and form the next generation of plants. And this little packet, I'm calling it, this packet contains a tiny little plant, which is called the embryo, a store of food for that embryo, which is called the endosperm, and a protective outer membrane, which surrounds the whole packet, uh, which makes it a packet. And that membrane is called the seed coat. You refrigerate seeds, to slow down the metabolism, which means you're slowing down the rate at which that embryo is using up its store of food. And I think this played a role in the fermented group. The seeds in the fermented group spent the longest time at room temperature, you know, while they were fermenting, they were in a cup at room temperature. But the treatments for the other groups didn't take as long, so they got refrigerated more quickly, meaning they used up less of their stored uh, food, that endosperm. But another thing that may have reduced germination in the fermented group was the treatment itself. You saw that cup and that white fuzzy stuff at the bottom that was mold. That mold may have penetrated through the uh, seed coat into the seed itself and damaged uh, the embryo or damaged the endosperm or did something that disrupted the ability of these seeds to germinate. So those are two possible causes of what we see here. Six, again, six seedlings in the rinsed group, six in the paper towel group, and only four, and two of them are pretty crappy, in the fermented group. So in my opinion, the faster you remove your seeds from the fruit itself, uh, wash them off somehow, dry them and store them in a cool, dry place like a refrigerator, um, the better. The longer they'll last, the better germination you'll get. 
the grain of salt with this experiment is that this is a very small scale uh, experiment. I only used 10 seeds in each treatment group. We'd get more reliable data if we used 100 seeds in each treatment group or 1,000 seeds in each treatment group. But this is what it was reasonable for me to do uh, with my time. So I hope that was informative. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye. So I'll keep these moist on my windowsill and until something jer ah oh, shit. After four weeks or four weeks later. Four weeks later, these have been fermenting, quote unquote, for about oh shit. Oh, we're still recording. So that may be what. <clears throat> so that may that those are your shit.